G'day everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Turok 2. I'm still Execute, and this is still level 6 in front of us, so let's get cracking on it. We're looking forward to this the whole damn game. Shutting up the new cutscene. The Primogen's Light Chip. Little is known about this mysterious and ancient vessel. The light ship is believed to be maintained by a horde of lethal biomechanical droids programmed to do their master's bidding. The vessel itself is massive and is undoubtedly well defended. Your mission objectives are as follows. Destroy three automated assembly plants. The Primogen's light ship is completely self-sufficient and can supply itself with an army of biobots manufactured deep within the superstructure. In the event that the Primogen is defeated, the biobots have been programmed to exit the light ship and eradicate intelligent life from the face of the lost land as one last twisted act of revenge by the Primogen. You must destroy all of the assembly plants within the light ship. Purify the River of Souls. The waste created by the light ship's power cells is responsible for the toxins that poison the River of Souls. By reversing their polarity, the toxins will be eradicated and the River of Souls will flow pure for the first time. Tens of thousands would benefit from its clean, cool waters. When you think about it, that makes no sense, but okay. So, welcome aboard the Primogen's light ship. Um, I've taken the liberty and adjusted the brightness to, uh, hey, don't freeze on me, to, um, better match the level's theme. And, uh, you may notice that we didn't get a defend the totem objective. Well, that's because there is no totem on the light ship. Okay, so let's get cracking. First enemy coming up, and, uh, I'm gonna hide behind here so he walks past. So he saunters past, and we can have a look at what he looks like. Mm-hmm. Oh, For some reason, they're kind of, kind of biological, which I guess makes them biobots. So the name is going to be Biobot. But they explode just like anything else. Ow. Yeah, and they can just really, like, rip the whole thing, because they got, uh, sort of like machine guns. Is that his head? Oh, it is his head. Oh, he looks so sad and solemn on the floor there. Okay, the primary key is right here, but, um... We can't get it yet, because there's a big green force in the way. To do that, to get the primary key, what you have to do is you have to go around the level, and in each section of the level there's four, there's a switch that deactivates this particular thing here. Which will, and once you'll forward down, you will be able to get the key because the force will no longer be there. So on that note, there's, there's also a uh, respawn spot here. Health and ammo can respawn here. Um, there's also a little thing up there, I'm going to snipe him. Okay, that takes care of him. As you really might expect, um, in fact you can hear the respawns, um, biobots they're very dangerous because they're deathly accurate with those machine guns and they'll hit you multiple times and your health will just drop. So, um, oh yeah, and there's also Taurus on this level. They'll be popping down pretty frequently, I forget what the locations are, but uh, we'll just have to deal, they're not that damaging. There's a couple of other types of enemies, there's these things called Wheelers, who are fucking annoying. We'll be seeing that in the in the future. There's also a bigger version of the Bible, there's a Wheeler. Yeah, they fire Shredder ammo, but um, interestingly they don't drop Shredder ammo, they drop Charged ammo. And I missed. Let's try again. Damn it, I missed him again. Okay. Let me just kill him and uh, show you. Yeah, you see? Charge that. I'm up. Five charge shots. Um, Biobots drop uh, energy packs. Kind of like the Mantis in level 5, except they, will, they have a 100% drop chance of them. And the bigger ones, well, you'll see what they drop when I find one. As you really might expect from the turret, so they don't drop shit. Okay, this door's locked. Um, okay, here's this version of Level's Teleport. Ooh, check out the schematics on the wall. So that's what the light ship kind of looks like. It's pretty ugly. Um, jumping on this doesn't do squat. What you have to do is you have to uh, hit the switch first. Like that. And this thing comes down, then you step on this. Voila. There's no keys to collect on this level. Except for the solemn, uh, the salt primer you can. Dead end. Um, she's got explosive shells up there, but I've forgotten how to crouch. Another wheel. Sometimes the plasma rifle will just one shot this guys, but usually it won't and you sit there wasting a fuck ton of energy. After I upload this video, I'm gonna make sure that the brightness is okay. It is my wish to make this level like dank and uh, you know 
atmospheric because it's the best level in the game by a long shot. At least I think so. Yeah, I was expecting that to work. No. These guys can't be bored. Um, let's just uh, scorpion him. Yeah, the scorpion is always going to be an effective weapon on just about anything. Except bosses where it kind of sucks. I shouldn't be running over the charge dart because it doesn't do anything to the turrets. Grab my health. Okay. Q sniping because we see a plasma rifle. And there's a biobot. One shot, not bad. Plasma rifle. Sniper capability enabled. See that floating blue thing there? That's a um. That's an iron capacitor. We'll need a bunch of them. And this thing on the floor is an anti-grab deluxe mark 7 edition. They've upgraded way. Well, hey. Ion capacitor found. Expect Adon to say that a lot. Um Ion Capacitors, you need four for each of the uh what do you call it? The thing is that they look like totems, I can't remember the name though, it slipped my mind. But it's um at any rate, there's four of those and you need four per each one of those, so you need 16 a lot. Not that there's a problem because they are looted throughout the level. And this is a marvelous dead end. And fucking fantastic. I might take a couple of wrong turns and up in some dead ends, but uh, it's no big drama. It's not like level 4, it's not that confusing. It's a little confusing, but... It's fun, so it's okay. Just try the turret. Okay, let's try the firestorm on these guys. Machine gun versus machine gun. Spin up. Let's go. It's okay. It's... Hang on. Oh, wait. I came from the same door, I wasn't expecting that. Yet, yeah, divert, divert your eyes to my health, look at that. I didn't know what I was at before I took on those two, but um... Like I said, they can really just munch away on your health. <clears throat> Shred armor, don't need it. Grenades, I know I don't need those. So, um, up we go. There's two more iron capacitors around the front side. Right there. Ion, cap potato, ion capacitor potato. found. Shut up, Adon. Okay, so, explosive shells? Don't need them. Okay, back up the stairs again. This time, though, we're not going to jump off. We're going to take a, um, an elevator. Which moves by itself. Well, it doesn't really move by itself, because you have to jump on it for to get to move. Damn it, I missed. Alright. Thanks for him. Now for the most, uh, Bloody fucking fake uh, puzzle in the game. It takes a genius to figure that out. Oh, oh shit. I was expecting that to work. I know you can blind this because of some fire pods. I don't know why it didn't work though. Oh, well, no matter. Yeah, they can just kind of like find the machine guns if they're not facing you and they'll still hit you. Which is complete BS, but oh well. Damn it. And me with my flamethrower out. Ah, turrets. They can spawn in front and they can spawn behind. They're, they're fucking dicks, that's what they are. That one spawned in front. Right in my face. There's actually a bug with the turrets. If you're standing right next to them, they can't hit you. There's a safe water, we don't need it. You'd think that the flamethrower wouldn't be so effective on uh, droids, but it, it functions like normal on them. Doors locked. Fucking turrets. Doing me up the arse. Okay, this room. There's a bunch of lasers down there. By the way, those lasers, if you step in them, as you really might expect, you're dead. So don't. Um, here's what I was looking for. I just want to show off that these guys can, in fact, be bored. Let's watch. Pop goes the biobot. Ow. Some of you fall the lasers. There's no high capacity there, but we can't reach it. So, what we need to do is we need to come under here. Yes, you are. You've said that many times. And take the slow and annoying freaking whispers, talisman. Okay, we're up now. I hear a wheeler. There it is. Never. I so dodged that. Oh. Okay, and now what do we have to do? We have to take another slow. Oi, lasers, pretty whispers, talisman. Okay, 
I think there's one right around this corner. I was right. This is the big version. They don't have machine guns, but they fire straight armor as well when they fight like the soldiers. And uh, they can also cloak. But they have the same vulnerabilities. These guys can, in fact, be bored and blind with some fire bots. And guess what they drop? They drop rockets. Isn't that nice? So really, you can just scorpion these guys and save yourself the effort. This switch here, this is one of the uh, switches I was talking about that opens away the primary key. Check this out. Forceful generator disabled. One of those in uh, each section level. Wait. Okay, back this way now. No, damn it, I fucking forgot something. In typical Tom fashion. Okay, back to the room with the pretty lasers. Which I really want to jump into, but I'm not allowed to. And, uh, where is it? There it is. You can jump to this because you got the double jump in this game. You walk off the edge and then you jump. Like that. So why did we come down here? Well, because you have to, to get the nine capacitor. Okay, let's hit the switch. That extends the bridge, but I knew the story was there, so. Damn it. Okay, let's grab this uh, nine capacitor. Ion capacitor found. Fuck you, Aiden! Shut up! We know what they are. Playing noisy doors on this level. So this is one of the things I was talking about. This is why you need the iron capacitors. Notice that the top part is green. Okay, let's uh, snipe into this guy out first. Darn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Fucking time. Oh, I'm a bit beyond its reach, I see. Well, it sucks to be it. Okay, so what you do with these is you take the iron capacities, you remove the green ones, just by walking into it, then you walk further into it and you plant the blue ones. That's three, and that is four. Power generator recalibrated. And now the top is blue and it's all, you know, nice and stuff. You may notice the water. Um, there's nothing in this one, but in one of the later ones of these rooms, there is something in the water that we need to get. Or in, I should say, we need to press. But not this one, so we can leave. And here's a teleport. Schematics. Damn it! I can this hard. That's sneaky. And let's get ourselves squashed. Blech. Damn it! Use the teleport, there you go. Okay, this actually brings us out near the start of the yeah, level. In that hub section, which has the primary key. How convenient. How inconvenient. Piss off, I don't want to deal with you. I said piss off. This brings us just above there. And uh, you do this four times, so there's actually an Ultra Hilton H1. So I'm going to hit the switch. And I'm going to nab this. Ultra health. And now another section of the level is open, the rest of them are shut. And we're back here, we can use the option to refill and respawn. Refill and respawn. Refill our ammo with respawns, there you go. But uh, I'm actually going to end the video here, so thanks for watching, and uh, tune in next time, we'll continue the Prime Minister's Lightship. Take care, everyone.